Hello, welcome friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you are going to see a new concept called type alias. Let's get started. So this Kotlin features let you provide another names for classes and functions to make the code more expressive and concise. So let's see an example that I'm having a list of person, okay? And this thing list of person like that, I will be using this a lot. So maybe I can name this people. When I say people, it means list of person. You can do the following, go here, and choose type alias like that and provide an alias for that let's call it people and by people i mean list of person that simple now let's say that you are declaring something called val for example something like that and i type people here what does it mean this people mean a list of person if i create a function like that and this function let's say for example called something also and let me just return something here if i say people like that it means i will provide a list of people as parameter for this function so if i do something like that i have to insert a list of per people like that this is an empty list also. so this kind of thing allow you to alternate the names this list of person is somehow a simple example you can imagine an example in which you have something long here i would just use another example Let's say I'm going to use like an empty lambda, for example, empty lambda. You can do something like the following. If you remember this, this is a name for lambda. So this is type for lambda. It takes nothing and return unit. What you can do here is just to provide an empty lambda like that. It means that you are sending a lambda. So you can just do something here and do something like that, or just print something. So as you can see here, we change this syntax to this. You can imagine that you have two or many parameters here. The only downside here is that you can't know the parameter from the name. So if you say like something, take an empty lambda, well, this is expressive, but sometimes let me just rename it to lambda here. And it will take like, I don't know, a string. Now you, you can't know what this lambda takes as parameter. You must go here and see the actual definition. So this is not useful in terms of parameters, but it's useful here to provide this kind of alternate things to this. You can do another thing with import alias. Let's say, for example, I'm going to use concurrent modification ex exception, this one, for example, and you have to import this, right? Okay, so you can do something like following. You can do import this. And you can use this in a try and catch. So as you can see, this name is a little bit too long. You can imagine that a lot in Android also. So what you can do is like you can convert this name into another name. So you can do here as like that. And let's say, for example, I would call it CME. So you, I can use concurrent modification example or CME like that. Here, if I use CME, I mean this one. So as you can see, we change this one into this one. You can imagine more readable thing and you can imagine here a long name also. So for example, in Android, maybe you, could, you have seen like animated vector drawable. So you can also rename this into something like, I don't know, just an example for that. So this is the way how you can use type alias in this example. So remember, you can name it like that. You can name whatever you want, equal sign and the type you want to convert. So just to understand something, Type alias won't create a new type. If you go here to the tools and go to Kotlin and here go to Kotlin bytecode and decompile it, this is our something function, right? It has people. So here you see it takes a list of people. As you can see, somehow it erased the type. So you don't have a list of person. So you can't rely on type alias to provide compilation. So make this in mind when working with type alias. So this is it for this video. I hope you understand the concept of type alias. Type alias is a great way to provide shorter or meaningful names for existing types. And always remember, it does not create new types. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamualaikum.